Hey everybody, uh, this is the downstairs sixth grade team. Uh, I know it's been kind of a long uh, break from us, or break for us from you guys. Maybe that's a good thing. But um, we want to talk about the forward exam, which will be April 3rd through April 7th. And I'm going to have Mrs. Rebrugan and her student teacher talk a little bit about that. Okay, so um, actually, I was just going to say that the exam is the fourth or the third through the seventh. And so um, we'll be talking about what to make sure to do on those days. Before we do that, though, I want to introduce my intern. This is uh, Miss Lee Aubrey Lee. She is working with me in my classroom through the end of the year, so third and fourth quarter. And she's primarily been teaching um, Mr. Fitzgerald's class and my class for social studies, and also Mr. Fitzgerald's class for reading. So if you have questions, feel free to contact either of us. Hey everybody, uh, I'm just gonna talk to you a little bit about the time of our uh, forward exam. It's gonna be in the morning, uh, right around that nine o'clock time. So if you could please make sure you get your kids to school on time and uh, if you can also make sure that those mornings that they get a good breakfast so they can be making sure that they're going to be focused on the test, not worried about maybe having an empty stomach. Um, we might have like a peppermint or something for them to kind of get their brain kicking. But uh, food wise, that would be a great week to make sure they get something. Uh, so morning time, make sure that uh, you have them here on time so we can get things going. And then they get them. No, I don't. We don't want them to sleep. No. <laughs> Also, just to let you know, next week we will also be doing some prep to get them ready as far as the tools to use online, as well as some writing prompts um, and things like that. Also, if you are in need of an appointment for some reason, please make try to make them in the afternoon because we will be testing in the morning. So therefore, then they won't miss. So that would be greatly appreciated. And lastly, there is a part to the Ford exam where there's listening. So we know that all of our students are great listeners. And in order to do that, we need to have headphones. So if there could be a working headphones for your son or daughter, that'd be awesome. And if you are gone, um, we will be doing makeups the week after, right before spring break. So again, Ford exam, April 3rd through the 7th. This is the sixth grade team. And thanks for watching.